So Sundance 2018 was a life-changing experience for me, and let me explain why. I'm a filmmaker, and I've been a filmmaker ever since middle school, and ever since middle school, I've been slowly building up this feel of numbness to the movie industry, and to creating films, I've just been building up burnout after burnout, and... I've been slowly losing my passion for films and making films. It seemed like actually the more I learned about movies and how movies were made, the more I hated watching films. It got so bad to the point where I only see maybe two or three films a year. Seeing as this video is being released in January 2018, the last movie I saw was Wonder Woman and before that was Mad Max, so I don't go to the theaters very often. And that's because I'm so used to movies in the theater always being about making a film that's broad about a large audience, about there having to be some sort of sexual desires in there to get people to watch the movie and big name actors to actually get people to come and market the movie in a specific way that movies just aren't fun anymore. Sequels, lots of sequels. I kind of tired of watching sequels. It's not necessarily always creative, and I'm a very creative filmmaker. I like to see things new. I like to things I like to see things very extremely narrowed to a specific subject and just the entire film focused on that. But that's not what sells. And that's why I've been getting so much burnout. And it was starting to become pretty sad because as a junior in college as a film major who doesn't necessarily like making films anymore and doesn't necessarily like watching films anymore. It's a very interesting place to be. And I had an opportunity to go to Sundance. I was invited with a group of friends. And I thought, you know what? It is something that I feel is maybe like a rite of passage. Just, just a big thing that all filmmakers should experience. So I said yes. And... The step one, the first thing I had to do was wake up really early, I think this was like 7 a.m. here, and I had my uh, browser pulled up to the tickets page, and as soon as 7 o'clock hit, I had to log in and buy as many tickets as I possibly could to Sundance 2018, and I was only there for the first five days. And I managed to get my hands on six tickets, four for the last day I was there, and two for the day before. And I'm thinking, holy cow, what am I going to do for the first three days? And those six tickets, the total came up to be like $161. And there I was thinking, do I really want to go to Sundance? Do I, like, who? somebody who doesn't like watching films, do I want to go watch films for just six tickets, $161? And, you know, I, I, I said, screw it. I'll do it, and I got on the plane, and on the plane right there, I was talking to my friend, and I said, I have no tickets for the first three days, so I don't know, maybe for the first three days, I'll just explore Park City, Utah, where the Sundance Festival is, or maybe I'll go to the regular theaters and watch something like Paddington 2 or whatever they're playing. And after I said that, my friend looks at me, and this is her second year going to the festival, and she said, if you're not out there hustling and trying to get tickets and doing everything you can, then you're not trying and you're not getting the full Sundance experience. So that kind of hit me and I thought about it and I was like, you know, it, it's, it's definitely worth a try. So I started learning from her and she got up early, she went to the box office and she was asking them for what, whatever tickets they had. And I went there and I managed to pick up two tickets for the first day, and that was just a big deal for me. So I saw those two films, and I got on the wait list for the last film, and the last film, I was the last person in line. So already, I feel like the festival is coming along quite well for me. Same thing, I woke up the next morning, I managed to get my hands on one ticket, actually, the next day, and I waitlisted three, and for the last one, I came into the waitlist late, and they threw me in the back, 
and I still got in and I was like number 300 something. So something about this festival was going right for me and this was my first time at Sundance so I'm very thankful for it because I was split up all, a lot of times for my friends because when you get tickets, you, you get tickets and you go see whatever you can, even though your friends can't get the same tickets. But what this video is about specifically is the turning point. And the turning point was on the third day. And the third day I managed to get one ticket and I went to my very first screening of that day, which was a documentary. And I met someone in line and we got to chatting and they felt really honest about me. They saw something in me, I guess, that they really liked and they gave me two tickets to two other screenings that same day. And I sat in that movie theater for that documentary and, I, and it just hit me about how passionate and how kind everybody is at Sundance. How much of this amazing group of people has come together to watch and create films that don't have anything to do with money don't have anything to do with big name actors. They're everything that I loved about films. They're everything about like creating beautiful shots without caring about whatever, what anybody says. They're making films on topics that are very sensitive and topics that you would never ever think about. And those are the films that really touch my heart and realize why I became a filmmaker in the first place, why I became a content creator to just produce and create things, because I do it out of love and passion. I don't do it out of money. I don't do it out of the fame or the glory. I honestly do it to share my message, to share something important across to make the world a better place. And I'm I'm not gonna lie, I, I just sat there before the film even started and I just shed a tear. And I just thought that, I, I'm just so thankful for being able to experience Sundance and just to experience everyone's kindness and to experience the luck that I've been getting to get into all these films. And those five days, the first five days I was at Sundance, total, I managed to see 20 films. Four of the films I actually put in my top 10 favorites movie list. Like that's how much of a amazing Sundance experience that was. So I'll take a screenshot on my phone and I'll put a little list right here of my actual top 10 movies. The four that were from Sundance was The Guilty, which had three standing ovations and I shed so many tears on that one. Lords of Chaos, which is quite the crazy film. Minding the Gap, which is a beautiful documentary that made me shed a tear. And Piercing, which is just a undescribably creative film <laughs> is all I can really say about that one. And still right now, a week after Sundance, I still can't really believe that I saw that many films from somebody who only sees one or two films a year and having four of those films move over to my top 10 list. And here I am sitting with a big fat sum of just all the Sundance films that I watched this year one of the most amazing experiences, one of the most cathartic experiences, something about sitting next to the actors and the directors and producers, writers, editors of the people who are making the film or made the film that you're watching and you're all going through that emotional experience as pretty much everyone in the room, even the people who made the film, are watching it for the first time. That is the feeling that I've been missing in in filmmaking. This is the thing that I've been missing about creating content and I'm glad I went to Sundance and I'm glad I was able to experience that. And this is just a message to anyone who is curious or is kind of on the edge about going to the Sundance Film Festival. Do it. If you have the opportunity, if you have the money saved up, of course, because I spent $500 on movie tickets. It's a very bizarre thing, but I feel like it was 100% worth it. And if I have the opportunity to go again next year, I will go 100% because all of the memories that were made, all of the networking connections that were made, talking to people in line and on the bus ride, is just something that you'll never really get to experience anywhere else but the festival. And one of the greatest things about this is 
there are films at the festival that might not ever be released ever again. And it really was blowing my mind because there was like 30 different screenings playing a day and you could only, realistically, you could really only see six from 8.30 a.m. to the last one being a midnight screening if you're really hustling. So you just go out there with an open mind and try to get into whatever you can. And I saw people outside on the streets holding signs, hustling, asking people for spare tickets. So it's it's really one of those bizarre experiences that I would say takes a lot of bravery and courage to do so. But if you do do it, you really come out a stronger and better person with a lot more inspiration into the world and the creative world of making amazing content. So with that being said, this has been Tony Sticks, and may you guys go out and see if you can get your hands on some tickets to see some Sundance films that were premiered in 2018 because a lot of them were amazing. Take care. And it... It, it was starting to become, and it was starting, blah, blah.